In today's fight news, we start off with UFC 304 Manchester. In the main event, welterweight champion Leon Edwards defends the title in a rematch against Bilal Muhammad. In the co-main event, we have another rematch as interim heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall defends the title against Curtis Blades. Also on the card, Patty Pimlet will take on Bobby Green. At flyweight, Mohamed Mokaev will take on Manel Kat. At featherweight, Brendan Allen will take on Giga Chigatse. According to interim heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall, he was offered a fight with Cyril Gaon, and he said he accepted, but Gaon never accepted the fight. On his YouTube channel, Aspinall says that obviously as the interim heavyweight champion, he should be fighting the champion, John Jones, but he says Jones is holding up the division, waiting for a matchup with Stipe Miocic, and in the meantime, he accepted the fight with Curtis Blades to get some revenge from their original matchup in which he tore his ACL just 15 seconds into the fight. The heavyweight champion Jones had some words for his haters on his ex account as he said they are telling him he is quote unquote slowing down the division waiting for a matchup in November against Stipe Miocic. Jones pointed out that the next two heavyweights in the division aren't even in the main event of their upcoming pay-per-view. Lightweight fan favorite Hinato Moicano commented on the recent announcement of Patty Pimblett vs. Bobby Green. Moicano says he's not surprised about the announcement and he said the fight actually makes a lot of sense. Just announced for UFC Vegas 94, Cody Durden will take on Bruno Silva on July 20th. Speaking of UFC Vegas 94, Alexandre Topuria, the brother of featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, will be making his UFC debut. On his Instagram account, welterweight standout Ian Machado Gary hinted that he has a fight announcement ready for UFC 303. While on a recent episode of the Pound for Pound podcast, lightweight champion Islam Makachev had some words about superstar Conor McGregor when Kamaru Usman said you can't sleep on Dustin Poirier because he knocked out McGregor two times. Islam responded that anyone can knock out McGregor at this point in his career. Islam says that he's down for a matchup with McGregor and says after his fight with Poirier, he's open to fight in either August, September, or October, November. It doesn't matter. He says McGregor is out of shape and drinks too much, and he's not the same McGregor that fought Khabib. Speaking of McGregor, after his recent Fight Pass Invitational win, Hinato Moicano says he hopes McGregor knocks out quote-unquote fake Michael Chandler. The weights are in for this weekend's Bellator Paris as Cedric Duombe and Julia Willis make weight for the upcoming co-main event. And in the main event of Bellator Paris, bantamweight champion Patchy Mix and his opponent Magomed Magomedov have both made weight and are ready to go. Former UFC champion Anthony Pettis says he's ready for a fight against Cedric Duombe of the PFL, but he says if Duombe fails to impress or doesn't win, he'll likely stick to another boxing matchup in the meantime. While speaking to Damon Martin, Bellator bantamweight champion had this to say about the UFC champ Sean O'Malley. I think I would finish O'Malley without a damn doubt. The bigger question people ask me, how would I beat him? How would he beat me? Speaking of O'Malley, recently he jumped in on an Instagram live with boxing superstar Ryan Garcia, where the two went back and forth and discussed possible MMA matches and a boxing match, agreeing to 145 for both. Recently, Turkey al named a few dream fights that he wants to make before the end of next year. One of those on the list was Davis versus Inoue. 
Speaking of Davis, on his social media account, he says that he did not know about the WBA's mandated 12-pound rehydration clause for the upcoming Freight Martin fight. He says he just found out about it yesterday. During a press conference for the upcoming Netflix special, Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul, the two had a funny back and forth in which Mike Tyson called Jake Paul fat and funky. Iron Mike was also quoted as saying, I can't even get mad at this guy because everyone knows this guy is just talking out of his ass. Tyson also jabbed back at Paul who said he was going to knock him out by saying he couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz or Anderson Silva, both fighters that are much smaller than Mike Tyson. There was a tense stare down between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano and their rematch that will take place at the co-main event of Paul Tyson. According to Brian Custer, tickets went on sale today for the Paul Tyson event and they've already broken the state record for the biggest gate in both boxing or MMA. On his social media account, superstar boxer Ryan Garcia showed footage of himself meeting Tyson Fury for the very first time. The Fury vs. Usyk Lineal Heavyweight Championship unification bout took place recently where Fury and Usyk had a stare down. During the press conference, Fury had nothing but good words to say about his opponent, saying that he hopes they both make plenty of money and go home safe to their families. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe.